Now to our Streets of Shame series. A new report sharply criticizes the city of Los Angeles for how it tackles the issue of homelessness. Specifically, its outreach to the growing number of homeless there on the streets. The report claims LA has fallen short of its goals. NBC 4's Ted Chen live in downtown Los Angeles where the city, Ted, is defending its efforts, right? Michael, and it's important to remember that this kind of criticism from the controller's office goes back decades. Part of it is a controller's job. Part of it is political. This time, the focus, as you mentioned, on homeless outreach, as our I-team first reported. We need something better than we have right now. City controller Ron Galper and criticizing the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority, or LASA, a joint city and county agency tackling L.A.'s homeless crisis. Galper accuses LASA and its workers of spending too much time cleaning up encampments instead of helping people find housing, substance abuse, and mental health treatment. I hope that if we are to make progress on homelessness, we take a really hard look at where we are today. As our I-Team investigation revealed yesterday, among the audit's findings, LASA put only 14% of people it contacted into shelters, 4% into permanent housing, 6% into substance abuse treatment, and 4% into mental health treatment, falling well short of its stated goals. And the city needs to do a better job of managing its contract. I go out with outreach teams almost every week. L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti responded by saying while he agreed with some of the recommendations, he disagreed with how the audit measured LASA's progress on housing. LASA isn't the only agency that houses people. Our Veterans Administration, I just cited that we've housed over 10,000 veterans. That's something that is federal government and local government working together. While our I-team reported the controller's finding that only 167 people were moved into permanent supportive housing, LASA officials say that number is taken out of context. They also now say substance abuse and mental health referrals are not good ways to measure effectiveness. The needs of those individuals change constantly, so it requires us to build a system that's flexible to meet what their needs are at that given moment. Now, this audit did not focus on Measure HHH, the city's $1.2 billion effort on homeless housing. The controller says that audit is forthcoming. Reporting live from downtown Los Angeles, Ted Chen, NBC4 News. Carolyn Michael, back to you.